Hello and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And today you're going to find out why we're such a great town as we're here today at Mayor Max Cafe at the Cypress Recreation Center with students from the RISE program. That's the group that are between 18 and 21. They've graduated from the basic school system and now they're still taken care of for three more years until they turn 21. And I guess about three years ago or so we started this cafe here. Right, Jewel? And it's just wonderful. Of course, it was closed all during the pandemic, but we just opened up two weeks ago. And last week, there was no school uh, for the election week. But now we're back, and this is our grand reopening of Mayor Max Cafe. So let's hear it for all of our special needs yeah. students. All right, so I'm going to hold the microphone. I want you each to tell me your name. Look at the camera and tell me your name. Carlos. Brett. Diana. Christopher. Elijah. Kaylee. George. I'm Joshua. Maria. David. Javon. Sean. Chris. All right. So who wants to tell me who's been working here the longest? Actually, Jill, do you know? Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee, of course. Come on up, Kaylee. <laughs> now, first of all, I just want to say you post a lot on Facebook. And you're always sending me messages on Facebook. Hello, Mayor. How you doing, Mayor? What's up, Mayor? Well, now you're here today. Tell me about this um, this cafe, this uh, cafe, I should say, and what it means for you to have a job and to come out and socialize with your friends and do all that. Tell me all about it. Well, let's put it this way. I don't know. You don't know? Come on. Okay. Give me something. Do you enjoy coming here? I love coming here. Why? Because we get to work for you. Oh, ho, ho, that's what I'm talking about. It's just the way I wrote it. No, it's, I didn't write it. So uh, what's Lillian like to work for? Uh, well, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> so this is Lillian. She is. Um, she has a special needs son herself, about to turn 25 years old. And she used to work in Bud's Hut, believe it or not, for 40 years. She started when she was six. Yeah. And <laughs> do the math. Yeah, do the math. So, Lil, tell me about tell me about your experience here and why you like this so much. Okay. Hi, guys. I'm I'm really happy to be back here at the Mass Cafe. A couple of weeks, about a month ago, I was walking down the the street at the St. James Fair and I saw Mac. I said, Hey, Mac. When are we opening the cafe? He said, very soon. And here I am with all my kids. I love these kids. I love to work with them. I know how to handle them. So you parents, you don't have to worry. I know how to control these people. And we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to make a lot of money. And the kids enjoy it. Right, guys? You like yeah. it? Yeah. Let me ask the uh, superintendent of schools, Dr. Joe Massimino, to say a few words. And Joe, Joe, tell me, what's it like having this opportunity for the students? Thank you, Mac. Uh, this is an awesome opportunity. Uh, we continue to partner with the town on so many projects. They do an amazing job supporting us in that regard. We are the luckiest school district around. Um, I've known Lillian for a long time, um, so I don't think you could have a better person leading this. It's great to reopen, you know, with everything going on with the pandemic. It's wonderful to have the opportunity to, to start to get back to a sense of normalcy. As you can see, we have a lot of um, eager faces and, and great workers here, so the fact that we can return back to this pre pandemic normalcy and, and, and get back to the business of, of feeding our community and taking care of it. It's, it's just another example of how the partnership with our, our mayor, our township, our council, uh, and everybody that comes with it, you know, the, the members of the RISE program, Ms. Bear, our director of special services, the teachers behind her, um, they do an amazing job day to day, and this is just another offshoot of, of what it looks like when the partnership goes well. So I just want to thank the mayor and, and his council and his administration for their continued support. Thank you. All right. Now, former Councilman Jimmy Carroll is no stranger to special needs uh, students. We go back, we're both in the, are both still in the Knights of Columbus. We did hand in hand at Middlesex County College together. Uh, Jimmy worked with the Ford's Knights of Columbus in the one on one program. So it's just a natural that he's involved with this program. Jimmy, you want to say a few words? Uh, yeah, Mayor, this is a great program, obviously, and, and you can see the enthusiasm from the students. Uh, this town is a great town for people with special needs. We go out of our way to try to help you as much as we possibly can. We have a new adult program which we brought in. We have this program here. And the mayor and council and everybody in this town has been just so supportive. So I'm very, very proud to speak for the special needs uh, popular and just love what I'm doing right now. And I thank everybody for their support. All right.
Julie, you want to say something? Julie Baer is the head of special services for the school district. Thank you. Uh, one of our main goals and objectives at the RISE program is to instill a strong work ethic in our students. And Mayor Max provides us a safe place uh, with patients to teach them those skills so that they're not just in this community, they're actually a part of this community. They love this community, they contribute to it. And uh, we just can't thank the mayor or the town enough for all the support that we get at RISE. All right. Who else wants to, anybody want to say anything? Diane, want to say anything? I just like being here with all of you guys. And all right. I'm, thank you, thank you. Anybody else? Maria, good. Well, I can assure you that Merrimack Cafe is a restaurant and the mayor runs the town and we always trusted him. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. What are you doing for the next two years when I run for re-election? You're going to follow me around? Can I say something? Yeah. Good. Oh, and by the way, we like we'd like to joke around and play jokes too. You do. All right. Don't play jokes on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're ready to cut the ribbon.